What is going on guys today? We got another box of pennies. So we'll get to open this up. Uh, I'm hoping this starts uh, what will we find Wednesdays. I would like, I'm hoping to be able to do coin roll hunts every Wednesday from here, like starting this week. Uh, and then for now it'll be $25 penny hunts because that's what I have on my shelf to be able to do. Short term, uh, long term, I mean, I'll, I'm going to get other other coin roll hunts. Maybe we'll do bigger hunts, that kind of thing. Uh, now that we're into this one, I don't see anything crazy on the ends, but we'll get into it and see what we find. Alright guys, as you can see, I'm about halfway through the fifth roll, and I bring you in because of this beautiful 1964 Canadian scent. Check that out, but of course that's not why I bring you in. I bring you in because if you look right here, that little nub there is actually a, I don't know if it's a double die or a die break, I don't remember off the top of my head, but that is the extra, like extra, I believe it's the extra twig uh, variation, or extra branch, I don't, I'll put it in the bottom here, what it's actually called, because I don't remember off the top of my head, but that is an awesome start to this box, hopefully we can continue that kind of luck as we go through it, I'll bring you in on the next one. All right, we are 10 rolls in. We got seven Canadian cents so far, a 98, a 96, an 85, two 85s, an 89, an 83, and then, of course, that beautiful 1964. We have one wheat penny, a little slow on the wheat pennies so far, but that's a 1957. 159 just because I pull them out and then a really nice uh, 1970 D penny I keep any I keep all of the ones that are red red and uncirculated like that one and I also have two 1960s that I pulled out to show uh, just on the we already found one variety so I figured being that I had these. I would pull these out as well. So what I'm gonna, what I was gonna show you is this is a 1960 small date. Of course, it's the Denver, but it's a small date. And then 1960, there was also the 1960 large date. If I can get them side by side here, you can see the difference pretty clearly. Um, so yeah, so. Just thought it was cool there's really no the small date if it was a philadelphia is a little bit uh rare however the denver it's believed that they were about 50 50 in mintage as far as small date and large date so there's really no added value it's just kind of cool i don't see a lot of them where i am because i get mostly philadelphia coins so just thought it was something be cool to show but with that i will bring you back in after the next 10. All right, we are 20 rolls in and a little bit of a slow 10 rolls, but that's okay. We have two nice copper cents, 1976, 1975. Uh, this 59D, which of course is really beat up, but I still pull them out. And then we got six more Canadian cents, 79, 2001, 80, 72 84 and then of course this really nice 66 that i came across probably wherever that 64 came from this came from the same place so i will bring you back after the next 10 rolls all right another 10 rolls down and still pretty slow on the wheat sense but 
doing good in the Canadian cents. We got one 1959. We got nine Canadian cents, including two of the 1967 Centennial Bird cents, a 73, an 82, an 84, 81, uh, and 61, which is going to be another Young Head or Laureate portrait, a 99, and a 69. And we did get one wheat cent. It's going to be a 56 Denver. I think that brings us up for two for the box. So hopefully we find some more of those in the last 20 rolls. But I'll bring you back in after 10 more. All right, I'm back after 40 rolls this time. We got a 1969 S, which of course is not the DDO. A really nice 2011 uh, Canadian scent. I'll always take those. Got an 88 and an 83, I believe. Yep, 83. Also got three wheat cents this time. 1941, 56 Denver, 57 Denver. So we will definitely take those. We'll just double check this 41 quick. See if it has any of the DDOs, which I do not see. Nope, I don't see them. So... All right, with that, I will bring you back after the last 10 rolls. All right, guys, as you can see, as you can see I'm almost done with roll 45, and actually I'm kind of excited about this one. So we got this 2009 penny, of course, Lincoln sitting on the, on the log. And if we put this one under the scope, you will see Lincoln has an extra thumb right there. Don't get these too often. When I do, they're usually not this nice because this is actually a really nice coin. I'm not sure which one of the uh, VP numbers that is for that particular one, but I will. I'll, I'm sure I'll put it in the bottom of, of the screen or something. But uh, yeah, I had to bring you guys in for that one because that's an awesome find. Let me finish these rolls up and I'll bring you back for final recap. All right, I'm back after the. 50th roll and we have for these 10 rolls uh, 59 Denver of course that 2009 pretty nice 1980 it's actually really nice um, and 6 Canadian cents a, is it a 97? 97 a 78 71 a 57 a uh, laureate portrait or young head. Then we had a 2005 and an 88, and no wheat pennies again. So let me get stuff moved around and I will bring you back with a final look. All right, I'm back, and for today's box, we ended up with 31. Canadian cents, 30 plus, of course, the variety. We had five wheat cents, which is a little low, but it's definitely better than it was looking for a while. We had the two varieties, the uh, 2009 with the extra thumb, and then, of course, the 1964 Canadian cent with the die chip. We had one S minute, the 1969S, four uh, uncirculated cents or red cent, red copper cents and then four 1959s looks like two philadelphia and two denvers so with that that's uh that's all i got for you today hope you guys enjoyed it as much as i did and we'll see you on the next one thanks for watching